The 1970s began under the presidency of Richard Nixon as the 37th president of the United States. Originally a Florida congressman and a member of the Committee of Un-American Activities, Nixon promised to restore order to the country in his 1969 presidential campaign. Nixon was, one of the, Nixon was one of the few presidents to take a stand on environmentalism by creating the first Earth Day to expose the dangers of pollution. He established the Environmental Protection Agency to enforce the Clean Air Act, Resource Recovery Act, and Water Pollution Control Act. Nixon also adopted the Truth in Lending Act in response to unsafe products and faulty advertising. Nixon had the federal government practice a policy of self-determination for Native Americans, which would keep the federal government from interfering with Native American tribes. Nixon began a process called Vietnamization to reduce the number of U.S. forces in Vietnam during the war. In this process, American, America trained the Vietnamese to, and equipped them with weapons so they could be independent and fight the war themselves. The Nixon Doctrine stated that the U.S. would continue to supply Asian forces with military and financial aid. In 1973, evidence emerged that Nixon and some of his party members in an organization called CREP or CREEP tried to re-elect Nixon after breaking into the White House. Congressional investigators found out that Nixon tapped his phone conversations and conferences to re and refused to turn them over. In the court case U.S. v. Nixon, the Supreme Court ruled against Nixon with charges of obstructing justice and abuse of power and the White House representatives considered impeaching the president. However, Nixon resigned to avoid the impeachment, and Gerald R. Ford, his vice president, became the 38th president of the United States in 1974. Ford established the draft amnesty program, which required all Vietnam draft evaders to take an oath of allegiance to the United States and perform community service to be let back into the country. The Rehabilitation Act of 1973 was passed declaring it illegal to discriminate in jobs, education, and housing, and gave free education for physically and mentally handicapped people. In 1973, OPEC nations agreed to raise the prices of crude oil to more than 10 times the original price. While America didn't depend on the Arab, Arab countries for, the, for their oil, the raise in prices affected other countries, which in turn affected the world. In 1979, a revolution in Iran caused another shortage of oil and inflation rose. Temporary gas rationing took hold in America that included new speed limits on highways and the closure of many schools. Both President Ford and President Carter attempted to deal with the oil crisis, but Congress did not approve of many of their actions. America reduced their dependency on foreign oil with the construction of Alaskan North Slope Pipeline and development of fuel-efficient cars. Near the end of the 1970s, President Carter encouraged research on wind and solar power for energy as well as development of synthetic fuels. Carter was also involved in condemning improper treatment of political prisoners in Cuba, South Africa, Uganda, and the USSR. The Helsinki Accord was signed by the US, Soviet, and European countries that spelled out the rights of man. Despite the Soviet's agreement to the document, the Soviets restricted their civilian rights to freedom of speech and press. There was an important time period during the Cold War known as the Detente, Detente is a French word that means release of tensions. This occurs in the early 70s and was able to take place as a result of the falling out between the Soviet Union and China. Once the two were no longer on good terms, Nixon not only felt the tensions ease between the Soviet Union and the United States, but also that China, despite political views, held promise to America. Secret means of communication were then set up to let China know that America was interested interested in ending its policy of politically isolating the People's Republic of China. Nixon was dealing with problems here as well as foreign affairs during this time. In 1973, he signed the Endangered Species Act. This act amended an already existing Endangered Species Conser Conservation Act of 1969. This act authorized the determination and listing of species as endangered or threatened, prohibits unauthorized taking, possession, sale, and transport of endangered species, and it provides authority to acquire land for the conservation of listed species. This act also, also authorizes the payment of rewards to anyone furnishing information leading to arrest and conviction for any violation of the act, thus making it a strong act in that not a lot of people would be willing to break it. Along with other acts passed at this time about the environment, Rachel Carson was able to grab the government's attention 
with her book Silent Spring and get government to better regulate the use of pesticides. In the book Silent Spring, Carson warns the public about the dangers of using pesticides. She makes a strong case for pesticides doing more, doing more harm than good and also discussing some of the long-term effects of pesticides. For instance, one thing Car Carson sheds some light on is the fact that chemical pesticides were very much to blame for the virtual eradication of diseases such as malaria, yellow fever, sleeping sickness, and typhus, not only in the United States but throughout the world. A women's rights group called NOW, National Organization for Women, was founded in 1966 in Washington, D.C. by 28 women and men attending the third national conference of the Commission on the Status, status of Women. They work towards equality for women and promoting the Equal Rights Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Their statement is purpose, the statement of purpose is to take action to bring women into full participation in the mainstream of American society now, exercising all privileges and responsibilities thereof in truly equal partnership with men. Native American AIM was found in 1968 in Minneapolis, Minnesota by urban Native Americans. This focus on spirituality, leadership, and sovereignty, it was formed to address various issues concerning the Native American urban community, such as poverty, housing, treaty issues, and political harassment. The founders of the Dennis Banks, George Mitchell, Herb Powells, Clyde Bellacourt, Harold Goodsky, and Eddie Benton, they protest by walking across the country to Washington, D.C. in 1971. This became known as the Trail of Broken Tears. This gained national attention. The 14th, Amend the 14th Amendment guarantees equal protection to all races. This is not the case, however, regarding almost all minorities at this time. Cesar Chavez was the big advocator of Chicago rights. The Chicago no rights movement had three main goals, the restoral of land rights of farm workers and educational reforms. Cesar Chavez was born into a poor family Later on in his life, he established the National Farm Association to help people who were in his situation. This association was meant to protect the rights of farm workers and help the lives of farmers with new laws. Idea of, Influ Idea of Individuals with Disabilities Education Act called for a free and appropriate public education for every child with a disability to learn in the least restrictive and most integrated environment. The Disability Law Center, established in, in 1978, is the only statewide disability agency in Utah that provides self-advocacy ad, assistance. On March 28, 1969, in San Francisco, Leo Lawrence called for homosexual revolution of 1968, exhorting gay men and lesbians to join the Black Panthers and other left-wing groups to come out. Economics in the 1970s were pretty rough due to the recess recession we entered a state uh, due to the recession. We entered a state called stagflation. This means that there's high inflation and stagnant business activity. This caused unemployment to increase largely, making it very hard to get out of this economic state. New federalism is a political philosophy of dev devolution or the transfer of certain powers from the United States federal government back to the states. The primary objective of new federalism, unlike that of the 18th century political philosophy of federalism, is the restoration to the states of some power which they lost to the federal government as a consequence of President Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal. The oil crisis of 1973 was due to the o OAPEC, or the Organization of a Arab Petroleum Exporting Countries, set an embargo on oil when the United States started resupplying the Israeli army with supplies with guns and supplies during the Yom Kippur War. It lasted until March 1974 with the U.S. actions seen as initiating the oil embargo and the long-term possibility of high oil prices. Disrupted supply and recession, a strong rift was created with NATO. Roe versus Wade. The court ruled that a right to privacy under the due process clause of the 14th amendment extended to a woman's decision to have an abortion but that must be balanced against the state's two legitimate interests in regulating abortions protecting paternal prenatal life and protecting women's health arguing that these states interests became stronger over the course of a pregnancy the court resolved in, a, in this balancing test by trying to state by trying by tying 
State Regulation of Abortion to the Trimester of Pregnancy. After the New York Times had gained secret information on the Vietnam War, President Richard Nixon had claimed executive authority to force the Times to suspend publication of classified information in this possession. In its possession. The question before the court was whether the constitutional freedom of the press guaranteed by the First Amendment was subordinate to the claim need of the court of the executive branch of government to maintain the secrecy of information. The Supreme Court ruled that the First Amendment did protect the rights of the New York Times to print these materials. There are also many musical uprisings in the 1970s, such as bands that include Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Rush, and Jethro Tull.